Do you really need whey protein to build muscle? Well, the answer is no. Now, the supplement industry doesn't want you to know that. They want to promote whey protein as being absolutely essential, critical to you gaining that mass. I mean, you're never going to see an honest advertisement for whey protein saying, hey, whey protein is great, which it is. It absolutely is. But you're never going to see one saying, whey protein is great, but you could do the same thing by just eating more protein in your diet. You're not going to see an advertisement that says that, but that's the absolute truth. You do not, do not, do not need whey protein to build muscle, period. End of discussion. I know some people are going to say, hey, I worked out for several weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, months, years, and didn't make any gains until I bought whey protein. Well, here's what most likely happened. You probably weren't paying that much attention to your diet. You were probably training and not really watching how much protein you were getting in. So what happened was, you know, you're training, you're not making results because you're not getting the building blocks for new muscle, which is absolutely essential. So then you go, you buy whey protein, you start taking it, and now you're getting enough protein to actually build muscle. So that tricks you to think, oh, it was the whey. No, it wasn't the whey, it was the protein. Now I'm not saying whey doesn't possess a different chemical compound or atomical structure or whatever. Sure it does, all, all protein sources are, you know, pretty, they're the same, but they're also different in, in like the amino acid makeup and, and things like that, which we're not gonna really get into. The point is, yes, whey protein is great, is it necessary? No. When you when you start taking it and then you started gaining muscle, that was because you had the building blocks. You were adding the building blocks in that actually let you grow. And also what may have happened is because you were taking in whey protein, perhaps you were also cutting down the total amount of calories you're getting. Maybe you were eating too many calories before, but not enough protein. So now because the whey protein is going to be less in overall calories, but higher in protein, and also is going going to make you feel full more than likely what also you know may have happened is you didn't need as many calories so therefore you were not necessarily in a deficit but maybe hovering around a deficit or just above where you need for maintenance plus you had the extra protein so now you're building muscle you're losing some of that fat and you're actually seeing results that's more than likely what happened it's not because it was whey protein it's not because you bought this okay it's not because of this it's because of the actual protein is this helpful? Absolutely, it's helpful. Is it necessary for building muscle? No. If you don't have the money to spend on whey protein, don't fucking use that as a goddamn excuse not to fucking work out. That's bullshit. Don't be a fucking bitch. Work the fuck out. Eat your eggs. Eat fucking chicken, turkey, beef, pork, whatever. I mean, whatever you want to eat. Protein. Get the fucking protein in and don't use your inability to buy this shit as an excuse not to work out. So now that we've gotten that out of the way and we know that whey protein is not required to build muscle, let's go into why you may actually want to use whey protein and the benefits of whey protein, which there are several, and which is why I would actually suggest you, you know, do stock up on some whey protein and include that in your diet as a supplement. Obviously, food will be your main source of nutrition, but whey protein is actually really, really good stuff. Required for muscle? No but it has tons of benefits, not just for muscle, but for overall health. So let's go ahead and get to that now. For well, just a minute, I'm gonna go through some evidence from the Mayo Clinic, actual scientific evidence for whey protein. But one of the main benefits of whey protein is of course it's convenient. You get done working out or before workout, whatever the case may be, and you want protein. I mean, this is just easy. It's easier than having to cook up a bunch of eggs or cook up chicken or even eat chicken, eat anything, even if it's already pre-prepared. It's easier to drink this than to eat something, especially after workout. You don't feel like doing anything after workout, really. You know, getting the shower and getting on to whatever you gotta do that day. So whey protein is great for that. It's convenient, uh, it's lower in calories than if you're going to have a steak or something like that. You know, it's gonna be low in fat. You can find it in low in uh, carbohydrates, which is great if you're on a ketogenic diet, low carb diet, which like I am, like the anabolic diet, it's great for that. Uh, so it's convenient, it lets you hit your protein goals without going over your other macros, the carbs, the fat, um, you know, depending on what you're really tracking there. So that's definitely one benefit of whey protein and why you should definitely consider it because of the convenience factor. It, it makes it easy to get more protein and uh, make sure you're always building that muscle. So now we'll get on to actual research from the Mayo Clinic. So these are gonna be graded from A to F. So A would be strong scientific evidence for this use, 
F will be strong scientific evidence against this use, meaning it likely doesn't work. So A, B, C, D, and F. So let's go ahead and look at the benefits of whey protein. So A, allergies prevention. There's been some studies with whey in uh, children receiving a diet containing very few foods and whey protein formulas may help reduce the risk of cow's milk, uh, cow's milk allergies, uh, maybe more cost effective. So allergies prevention perhaps also gets an A, nutrition as a protein source. So whey protein has been studied for maintaining skeletal muscle mass, which we've already discussed. You know, I, I, I make, I'm not saying whey protein doesn't work to build muscle, obviously. Obviously it does. Just like chicken, beef, eggs, cheese, milk, turkey, fish, just like all of those things also help build muscle, skeletal muscle, maintain muscle. You know, whey protein does the same thing. It may do it slightly differently. They all may do it slightly differently. One may work better for you. You know, I'm not I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm just saying it's not necessary, 100% necessary anyway, for you to build muscle. But anyway, nutrition as a protein source. Definitely, you know, studies suggest that whey protein may benefit older people and women after exercise. You know, in healthy young men, whey protein increases blood levels of essential amino acids and the creation of muscle protein. So. Whey protein is considered by experts to be an excellent source of protein, which it is, which is another reason why you should definitely consider it. So moving on, B, as an appetite suppressant. So as I discussed earlier, you know, you take in that whey protein for the first time, you're getting more protein, maybe you're not feeling as hungry, so you're getting a few, uh, a little bit fewer calories. Now you start seeing results because you actually have protein in your body, plus you're not having as many calories, so now the muscles start to show and you think, oh, it's just the whey protein. Well, it may be just the whey protein, although I don't think it's just the whey protein. More than likely, it's just the amount of calories and extra protein. You could do the same thing with just a little bit of willpower and not stuffing your face all day. That works too. But anyway, as an appetite suppressant, there is definitely evidence for that. Moving on, B, diabetes. So many protein sources have been studied uh, for the possible impact on blood sugar and insulin. Whey protein has been found to reduce blood sugar in both healthy people and those with type 2 diabetes. Now, of course, further research is needed as it states here, but there you go. Maybe helpful for diabetes. Now, moving on again, this also gets to be muscle strength. Whey protein has been studied for promoting muscle growth and improving athletic performance. I mean, these are things we already know. Taking whey protein after exercise may have benefits in both men and women. M not may have, it does. We absolutely know it does. Even though this gets to be, I mean, come on, this definitely gets an A. We, we should know this. I mean, overall, short-term studies have suggested that whey protein increases muscle mass and strength. Of course it does. I mean, we know that. Uh, some conflicting results have been found in terms of whey protein's effects on body composition. So whey protein may have a different effect on the composition of your body. Like it, maybe it helps you lose, um, you know, fat in your legs or fat in your abdomen or something like that. Okay, but uh, there's not a ton of research for that right now. Moving on to weight loss, this also gets a beast. Whey protein has been studied for weight loss and the regulation of appetite. Studies have shown whey protein to be an inexpensive source of high quality protein and that it may reduce short term food intake. Again, this is things we've already discussed and they're showing it here. You know, somebody studied it, they're saying, yeah, this, this is, does have probable cause uh, that it probably does work. Moving on, now let's get to C. So it may or may not work, we're not really sure. It may help with acne so there's limited studies suggesting that uh, products containing whey protein may improve symptoms of acne we don't know um, allergies again this has a treatment not prevention but as treatment this also gets a C so it may help there uh, moving on to uh, ALS again that gets a C perhaps it helps maybe it doesn't bone density also we get to see bronchiospasms you know when you're just coughing and coughing and coughing and you just can't get that shit out that also gets to see you know limited studies product containing whey uh, protein may benefit people with bronchial spasms. All right, moving on, also get to see burns. Moving on to cancer, that also gets to see, you know, it may be helpful for people with cancer or preventing cancer. Uh, cere cerebral palsy, also get to see, it may help there. Chronic lung conditions, may help there. Constipation, maybe. Uh, cystic fibrosis, again, maybe. Dehydration, again, all of these are C's. Dental plaque, it may help there. So based on a limited study, a toothpaste product containing whey protein may have positive benefits for people with dental uh, plaque. Of course, further study is needed. Now here's here's one that also get to see that, you know, it may work, it may not work. And I've seen other studies say this about uh, higher protein. Uh, dialysis, a treatment for kidney dysfunction. 
which is actually the opposite of what everybody is pretty much going to tell you. Say, oh, you have a kidney problem, get lower protein, no protein, no protein. There have actually been studies, which if I could find it, I'll link it, I probably can't find it, but there have been studies showing that eating a low carb diet, which means more fat, more protein, a low carb diet may actually improve the function of the kidneys, not just in uh, normal people, but in people who actually have kidney dysfunction. So people who are normally going to be told uh, have a low protein diet, they found in, in just one study, keep in mind, this is one study, understand they found, but they found that a low carb, high protein, high fat diet actually improved kidney function, which is the opposite of what they were telling you forever. And again, one study, don't take my word for it. I'm not a doctor. Don't do anything I tell you to do. That would be stupid. I'm just telling you this information. So anyway, the C, dialysis, a treatment for kidney dysfunction. So based on a limited study, a whey protein product may help improve phosphate levels in people undergoing dialysis. There you go. Anyway, let's move on. C, may help with diarrhea, may help with eczema, may help with exercise performance and recovery. That gets a C. It really should get an A because we know it works. But uh, like we've also discussed, regular uh, or other uh, forms of protein are going to do the same thing. But anyway, it gets a C on here, even though we know it works. Uh, fatigue and spinal cord injury that also gets to see it may help there gastrointestinal uh, reflux disease or GERD it may help with that growth it may help with growth uh, you know milk has been suggested to have benefits for growth of children blah, blah blah so it may help with hearing loss heart disease prevention C whey protein has been studied for reducing risk factors associated with heart disease it has been found to lower cholesterol and triglyceride levels however evidence is lacking for improved improved blood vessel function immune function may help with immune function may help with infection liver inflammation so it might help with uh you know when your liver gets all inflammated uh, mental performance again all these are c's myoclonic disorders or sudden uncontrolled muscle jerks that gets a c may help with those uh, psoriasis stomach disorders stress so all of these things are getting C. So saying there is some evidence that they actually work for all those things. So moving on to the F's, H. pylori infection, which kind of has to do with uh, uh, GERD, kind of has to do with GERD and uh, acid reflux. Uh, it's been shown uh, whey protein has been studied for the treatment of that infection, which causes uh, stomach symptoms such as nausea and bloating. And they're saying that whey protein doesn't have an effect and more than likely is not going to work. Okay. Uh, high blood pressure, again, studied. They're saying it doesn't really help you uh, to lower your blood pressure, at least that alone. So there you go. That's a huge list of things that get a C. There's a few that have Bs. And a C is unclear scientific evidence for this use, meaning it's not really clear. It's not for sure uh, one way or the other. It's not saying that it does work. It's not saying that it doesn't work. We're just not quite sure. But as you can tell, a lot of those Cs, there is evidence you know, that it can help with like bone density, bronchospasm, allergies, chronic lung conditions, constipation, dehydration, dental plaque. There is some evidence for that. And of course, the ones that get AIDS, allergy prevention, for, at least for children, and as a protein source, that of course gets an A because we know whey is great. Appetite suppressant, that's get to B, diabetes, muscle strength, weight loss, all those get Bs, which mean more than likely. And again, we pretty much know that, you know, um, I would trust the Mayo Clinic versus my advice, but I'm just saying we pretty much know that whey protein is going to help with appetite suppressant simply because it's a protein. And so there's a mental thing. When you buy something like whey protein, when you buy supplements, things change in your head where you're saying, well, I'm paying for this. Now I'm not going to stuff my face with pizza all day. I'm going to do a little better. So is it just the way? It's not just necessarily the way, but it's a combination of the way and the way you start thinking the way you start thinking get it <laughs> is whey protein necessary for building muscle absolutely not is it a great source of protein and is it something that has several benefits beyond just muscle yes and you know what's more important than your muscle is your fucking health anyway there you go i'm gonna have this study this uh are you okay my dog's yawning over there relax dude i'm almost done anyway i'll have this link this mayo clinic thing link in the description you can check it out for yourself never believe me never trust sasquatch